opening observations on the game? Well, you know, for us specifically, I think that we started the game very well. Um, you know, we, we kept things kind of at our pace and at our tempo, and we were able to really just kind of control the game. We lost it a little bit there towards the end of the first half, and, and coming out, uh, Towson, you know, they just got hot in that second half. We kind of needed to get out to some more of those shooters. Um, you know, Heinz Allen really, she lit us up there at the high post, and she got going, and so we, we really just needed to make a few more adjustments there. Okay. And Bree, same question to you. I feel like we came out together as a team. We had the synergy that we needed to actually win the game. But like Coach said, they came out hot, and we just didn't fight back. Could you struggle a little bit with turnovers there, finished with 21 in the game? Was that a big factor in the outcome? You know, it, honestly, it's been uh, an Achilles heel of ours all season, our turnovers. And that's something that we'll address here in the off season when, when we have control of the ball and we're not giving it up and giving away 21 possessions or, or you know, something like that, then we're a pretty good team. Um, I think turnovers are always, always going to be something that you need to address. And that's something that we've been working on for a while. <laughs> Bree, huge game numbers wise for you, uh, getting to the line a lot as well as really efficient. 9 of 13 shooting, what went well for you during the game today? Attacking the basket. I know they couldn't really stay in front of me, and I know they're going to put their hands on me if I attack, so I just continue to attack. And to both of you, uh, or I guess Coach, first starting with you, uh, um, moving into the offseason, what would be the biggest, uh, biggest priorities for you? Well, it's a few things that we'll have to work on and getting with our strength coach and, and just kind of getting stronger, faster, more agile, uh, you know, taking this team and this group of returners and really just building on our defensive prowess. Uh, you know, Bree had a great year as the defensive player of the year for us and, and really focusing more on our pressing, defending and rebounding the ball along with taking care of the ball, bounding the possessions there. And I think a lot of that will come as we go. Yeah. And Bree, uh, just Kind of, if you could give some observations on the season as a whole, just uh, uh, you know, wrapping it up a little bit. Um, it was a long season. Um, I feel like we stayed together as a team. It wasn't really how we expected it to come out, as far as our winning and our losing goes. But next year, we just have to keep focus, and we have to do. We have to do the win. Yeah, most well, definitely. I just got to work on the off season and just get better. When I'm scoring, I want to score more. I feel like I can attack to the basket more and finish. So getting stronger. Very different, but I think just any team going into any new season is going to be a whole new team, no matter how many people you bring in, whether it's one or whether you bring in a whole new squad. Uh, we'll see some things from our incoming freshmen that we don't have currently, but then we're going to be missing some things, too. We, are, we're, we don't have anybody who has Michaela's size, and then so we'll ask Zoe Wallace to step in and kind of fill that void. We don't have, you know, we'll, we'll miss Christy's hustle and, and her heart. We'll miss, you know, Brianna Davis Bloom and, and giving everything she has in her leadership and Aaron shooting and scoring from the outside. So, you know, we're, we're going to miss those things, and we're going to have to find, find ways to kind of get that back. But our incoming class, they're very good. They're just going to bring something different to the table for us. And then our core group of returners here are just going to, you know, they'll, they'll teach them and kind of build them along the way. Uh, honestly, I, everything. Again, it was not the season that we wanted. It wasn't what we were looking for as far as outcome. But that group gave everything that they had. And especially for each of those girls, to be able to adapt to change the way that they have, playing for three different coaches, all four of them, for three different coaches in their four years of college basketball is something that you don't see very often. And, and just their ability to buy in, to buy in to a new staff, even in, in their senior year, it, it was remarkable. And, and I appreciate that so much. I learned so much more from them that they probably you know learned from me. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.